okay marketing frameworks team see introduction software installations marketo annotations marketo implementation steps examples drawbacks of marketo power marketo introduction power marketo annotations power marketo implementation steps examples implement marketo in project implement marketo and power marketo on project first introduction team if already j unit is there for form unit testing why we should go for marketo if already j unit is there to perform unit testing why we should go for marketo okay now agenda number one number two what is the necessity of marking frameworks okay now let us see team i have a class order certain service order request order request now order a response team now please try to understand so here we will have try here we will have catch here we will have try here we will have catch order dao dao order dao dao now here the request for database invocation or call database and get the response invocation or call to backend systems Call to backend systems. Backend may be a DB, backend may be a inter one. Call to backend system. Prepare request for backend. I would say backend may be a database. Backend may be a one more service. Backend may be anything team. I would say backend may be anything. Backend may be a DB, backend may be a depth service, backend may be anything. Call to backend systems. Call to backend systems. So, this is what team in your real time. Now, here what happened? Here you have line number one. It is line number 10 it is line number 20 it is line number 50 line number 50 line number 100 or line number 200 it is Somewhere here it is line number 100. Here it is 300. Here it is line number some 350 or something. Okay. So this is your application team. It is your source code of the project i would say it is your source code of the project please try to understand this is the source code of the project okay now 
we are good now we are good so how to write the unit test case source code how to write the unit test case for this source code how to write the unit test case for this source code the unit code how to write public class order service test public wide test create order hundred test who will prepare the request developer has the responsibility to prepare the request order service service is equal to new order service order service service is equal to new order service service dot service dot create order here we need to prepare order request who will prepare this request developer Who will prepare this request to developer developer has the responsible to prepare the request order request request is equal to new order request developer will prepare the request because he is writing okay unit test cases developer is writing unit test cases he has to insert some, some data maybe set order id whatever it we have some data is there set order name he has to write okay something like that now whenever you run the application response what response it is order response i said not null so the response object is not null or not and so on so this is my unit test coding team please try to understand team this is my unit test code this is my okay, unit test code please try to understand it is very okay, important to stuff team i am going to get discuss you can't find this okay, explanation nowhere about this market up please it doesn't matter you will use spring unit testing plain unit testing plain market or power market that is different but underlying concepts basics are same now we'll see basics would be same team now here see now here what happened now here what happened so it is your source code your source code is okay depending on back end systems your back end system may be a database back end system may be a web service back end system may be a file Backend system may be a database. Backend system may be a web service. Backend system may be a Okay. <laughs>
no see see whenever you write a okay, unit test case so it is okay, depending on your backend systems so when you run this okay, unit test, the flow will go to where whenever you run this flow will go where once the flow will go there this will start okay, execution of this flow once the flow will go there this will start okay, execution of this flow okay start okay, execution of this flow this flow will start the okay, execution 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 whenever line number 100 will be okay, executed line number 100 will be okay, executed so what happened it is going to your backend system there is no guarantee always your backend is up and running there is no guarantee always your backend is up and running without depending so if your backend is always success what happened you will test always try block code only if your backend always will give error, what happened? You will test only catch block code only. You cannot test at a time for backend success scenario, backend failure scenario. You can't ask your backend team, hey, I am doing my unit testing. Can you please down your database for half an hour? Can you please down your database for 10 minutes? Can you please up your database for 10 minutes? Can you please remove the records of this my user ID for 10 minutes? You can't ask. They will not support to you. Maybe they will support in project. But after three months again you want to test it for some enhancements. After three months they will not support again to you. Why? Your client will not give funding to your backend systems if it is a small minor change why database team is required you can test by your own so if you are using plain j unit what happened so here if if we will use plain j unit then we can't test all the scenarios like success comma failure comma error comma success only but your your card details are success only but success with no records comma and so on we can't test all the scenarios that is either we can test that is either we can test success or we can test failure scenario now yeah if it is success then we can test only try block code only try block code then Okay, if it is failure, if it is failure, then if it is failure, then we can test only we can test only catch block code. If it is failure, then we can test only catch block code. That is here here we can't test catch block code that is here we can't test try block code we can't test catch block code we can't test okay try block code not for both above scenarios we can't test complete source code 
of the class we can't test complete source code of the class okay because of this because of this code coverage will be very less because of this code coverage code coverage can be less because of this code coverage can be less team code coverage can be less here understood so because you cannot test the complete code for the both above scenario we can't test the complete okay, source code of the project if you can't test the complete okay, source code of the project then so because of this code coverage will be less so to test to test all the scenarios to test all the scenarios we should we should go for marking framework we should go for marking frameworks how it is possible which to test all the scenarios to test all the scenarios we should go for marking frameworks now here what is marking frameworks what is marking frameworks so now very very important team the main goal of this marking framework is the main goal of the marking framework is the main goal of the marking framework was without depending on without depending on back end systems or external systems without depending on okay external systems developer can test his code is working fine properly or not without depending on the main goal of this marking framework is developer can test whether developer can test whether his code is working fine properly or not okay, properly or not so there are so there are so many marking frameworks are in the market there are so many marking frameworks are in the market one is markito another one is power markito another one is j mark another one is easy mark markito power markito j mark easy mark so many marking frameworks are there but these days market is crazy using markito and power markito and spring boot is coming into the picture using spring unit testing using spring unit testing also you can perform the markito spring unit testing markito frameworks how to use also i will explain i would explain both plain j unit how it will be work and using spring j j unit how it is works also i will explain so when spring boot is using but still industry few of them are using plain marking and few of them are using spring j units also okay now see now now first we will see marketo so what is the use of this marketo the main goal of this marketo framework is the main goal of marketo framework 
was without depending on without depending on external systems or back end systems without depending on external systems or back end systems the developers the developers can test developers can test developer can test the code is developer can test their code developer can test their code is working fine properly or not working fine properly or not working fine properly or not developer can test whether their code is working fine properly or not advantage of this marking framework sir advantage okay you may ask sir how it is possible without calling my back end systems how it is possible please please wait okay i will explain without calling your back end systems how can we test okay without calling your back end systems okay, how to test your code is working fine properly or not please wait okay okay i will okay i will okay, okay i will okay, explain clearly so using this marking without calling your back end systems also a developer can test their code is working fine properly or not advantage one first advantage sir okay now here see a developer can test all the scenarios like positive like okay success like okay, success with uh, no records like failures like errors whatever you want all the scenarios you can test it okay without depending on your back end systems even after 3 months after 6 months at any point of time developer want to test all the scenarios with your back end systems without depending on your back end systems okay developer can test his code is working fine properly or not now okay next one sir so so that code coverage will be will be more because because developers can test all the scenarios code coverage will be more because the developers can test all the scenarios now next one marketo software installation market on software installations it is an open source framework it is in the form of jar file it is in the form of jar file add marketo iphone core jar in palm.xml so that jar would be in the class path okay what is the dependencies marketo Maven dependency. Latest version of Marketo is 2.x. Marketo all. This is okay. Marketo core. It is a latest, it is a old version. Marketo core is the latest June version. Version of Marketo you are using. Add below Marketo core okay, dependency in palm.xml in palm.xml so that in palm.xml so that so that this is the okay, dependency team this is the okay, dependency so that jar would be in the class path so that jar would be in the class path 
no no mark it to implementation steps very very important we implement we implement any market to any marking frameworks we should follow three steps one is stubbing another one is expectation another one is verify one is stubbing another one is expectation another one is verify very 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 important to team first one stubbing first one stubbing first one stubbing means stubbing means now here see okay stubbing means first one stubbing team okay stubbing means how to stubbing means is mark or fake or dummy now stubbing means mark or fake or dummy okay now see question is how to mark an object how to mark an object very very important to team how to to mark an object so now simple use case team how to i have a class a please try to understand i will i will show you practical like anything i have a class b my class a is depending on class b class a is depending on class b but b has some risky logic so if i the moment i will call b always my a will be down i can't test my uh, a because of b so my question is without depending on b how to test my code is working fine properly or not simple question without okay depending on b how to test my code is working fine properly or not so here how to mark an object how to mark an object syntax class reference name mark it to comma mark of b dot class syntax syntax 1 without annotations syntax 2 with annotations with annotations simple how to do at the rate mark class name reference class name dot class class name dot class without annotations with annotations okay example here b mark b mark it to dot Okay, either one you can use mark of b dot class example example at the rate mark b mark b rate mark b mark b at the rate mark b mark b without annotations and with annotations without annotations and with annotations if it is without annotations how it works so class name reference is equal to mark mark it to dot mark of b dot class now here class name reference here simple it is class name of reference here you should give this one thing okay now good team okay, let's see now syntax 1 and syntax 2 so how to mark an object i never not I never we will mark an object whenever we will mark an object whenever we will mark an object then real object 
will be become as dummy object or fake object and never will be and never we will mark an object the real object will be become as a dummy object or fake object okay team okay, next one what is expectations very very important expectations what are we expecting on real object same we should expect on mock object we should expecting on the mock object when x call then return y this formula is very very important in expectations see from a you are calling b suddenly don't know your b have some m2 method a have some m1 method suddenly what happened b dot m2 so you are making your b as a mock dummy nullifying or fake instead of you are passing real object you are passing dummy object before dummy object it is a real object it was real object on this real object what it was expecting same should be expecting as dummy object also your a should not feel like you are sending dummy object a should feel like you are sending real object it is something like that hey do you know some uh, uh, movie scenes team your famous hero in telugu like uh, uh, you know our balaya in you know uh, in hindi like okay, shahrukh khan or salman khan do you think some risky scenes are there okay, risky scenes means stopping trains and you know some burning uh, skins uh, they will fall on uh, on okay, hills do you think all are okay, real hero will do team do you think all are okay, real hero will do please okay, respond team do you think all are okay no real hero will not do all these things who will do fake hero okay dummy hero will do but your audience feel like hey my my real hero only will do yeah your your audience feel like my real hero only will do most of the okay, okay, dummy heroes will do not real heroes will do but my audience yeah so my audience feel like what my audience feel like my real hero only will do similarly so instead of wherever risky scene is there wherever risky you are sure this code will be down instead of you are passing your original object you are passing your dummy object you are passing your mock object your a class feel like your j unit feel like it is real only but what are the real hero aim your mock hero also will do your dummy hero or a fake hero also will do what are the real object will do same your fake object also will do what will do syntax mark it or dot when mark object dot method then return return mark response so return mark response please try to understand mark object to dot when mark object to dot then okay instead of return then throws exception then throws exception object mark object to dot when it depends upon the requirement mark object to dot i will show you practically everything when even though it is mark object i want to call real methods i want to call back end methods okay call real method depends upon the requirement you should use all these things depends upon the requirement you should use all these things depends upon the requirement you should use all these things team 
example marketo dot when mark b dot mark b dot empty okay, m2 mark b dot m2 method will be called then return mark b response how to prepare mark b response i will explain later i will explain later but this is what exactly we are trying to do how to do what to do i will show you practically team okay don't worry expectations what are we expecting on real object the same as we should expect on mock object a next call then return y when mock object is call then return y when mock object is called then return mock response then return mock response understood team then return mock response the third one team now verify verify now verify the result verify the result using using verify method or asset triple x method are we clear team here okay team now let's see done now we'll see one simple example on this market please see here i have a one simple class i have a simple class public class b public b response m1 b request public class b request wait string name i am giving only here name b response private string status private string okay something is called like a description now done i don't want to write too much code i am using this one what is this lambok data it will give a setter and getters automatically data done here if you have a logic it will be used for to communicate with the back end system communicate to back end systems and get the data and get the response that's it that's it now same code i am copy paste i am not doing anything Please try to understand. Same code I am copy pasting. Now, here, interesting one is same code. it is a a request a a a response a request a request a a response here is a okay, interesting one Private B B. How to create this B object? Public A B B. This dot B is equal to B.
is dot b is equal to b no next one here is a interesting one prepare request for b how to prepare b request b request is equal to new b request prepare request for b call b prepare request for b call b b request dot call b and son b dot m1 b request now what it returns b response it returns B response it returns. Then prepare a response with the help of B response. A response, A response. new a response preparing all list of return a response return a response a return a response okay team please try to understand return a response Return a, a response. Done. Now, I want to test my A code. Now, I want to test my A code. Now, I want to test my A code. So, if you want to test your A code, you have to write a okay, unit test case for A. If you want to test A code, if you want to write a okay, unit testing of A, but A is okay depending on B. Without depending on B, how to test my code is working fine properly or not. Okay, without okay depending on B, how to test my code is working fine properly or not. Please concentrate. Now I am writing unit testing. Please concentrate. Now I am writing okay, unit testing. I am writing okay, unit testing. Public class A test. A test. Public wide test M1. Now, without depending on B, how to test my code is working fine properly or not? B, mark B is equal to mark it o dot mark of B dot class. Mark B dot class. So, it is a stubbing. How to mark an object? It is a marking. Three steps, whether you will use mark it o or power mark mark it or j mark or easy mark all it is called stubbing now it is your expectations expectation how to apply your expectations mark it or dot when how to apply these expectations mark it or dot when mark b dot M1 of matchers dot any B request dot class. Very, very important. Then return 
then return mark b response then return mark b response who will prepare mark b response developer only what real b response it will give same response will be prepared by whom mark b only either you will be prepared here or you will be prepared using uh, another method it's all okay depends new b response new b okay response please try to understand please try to understand stubbing is done another one is okay expectations markito dot when mark b dot m1 of matchers dot any b request dot class then return mark b response then return mark b response you are clearly informed that matchers dot any any data if this b request dot class is then that's enough anyhow you are not calling to real b if you are not calling to real b what is the use of whether uh, you know what is the uh, use of the data you don't worry about the data whenever you are calling inside of the a b dot m1 you are clearly informing that b dot m1 of any b request dot class will be match i don't bothered about the data of b request object because if you really calling original object then you should worry about the b request object what data is there here you want to stop your call in a class you want to stop your call in a class here so mark it dot when of mark b dot m1 of matchers dot any b request dot class and then return mark b response now okay, expectation oh, third one call a class call a how to call a you have to prepare a a is equal to new a since a constructor is expecting b object instead of real b object now i should pass mark b object so this mark b object will go to here your mark b object will be assigned inject into a object instead of real b object wherever real b is there it will replace with mark b whenever you call a dot m1 off whenever you call a dot m1 off a request who will prepare a request developer will prepare developer has the responsibility to prepare the a request a request to dot set order id a request to dot set order name okay now what it returns a response it returns what it returns a a response it returns a response it returns so now asset double x methods of or asset equals of or asset not null of a response is it object is coming or not asset equals of a, 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 a test method can have n number of things status order delivered a response dot get status now please try to understand now see now please try to understand 
whenever you called this. So, in J unit, your real object will be become as a dummy object because you are passing via constructor. Via constructor means you are overriding your real object, you are passing a real object with a dummy object. So with this okay, dummy object, this okay, dummy object will be will be will be traveling, traveling, traveling to here. Will be traveling to traveling to here. Here what happened? Your real object will be replaced with the dummy object. So now whenever here okay, replace with okay, dummy object, what are we doing here? What, what are we doing here? Please try to understand. You are informing here. Mark it or dot when mark b dot m1 of matchers dot any b request to dot class mark b dot okay, m1 of any b request to dot class replace with the, then return mark b response means whenever the statement here it will not call your backend systems instead of calling your backend systems the flow will be stopped here you, you only clearly informing whenever this line will be executed just return my mock response how my mock response who will prepare developer will prepare how the developer will prepare i will explain practically your a class feel like it is calling to b and b only will give response your J unit feel like I got the response from B only. But without depending on B, how to test your code is working fine properly or not. Here developer has the responsibility to prepare the mock response. Make sure instead of hitting to your back and see my mock response. With my mock response, it will prepare a response a response feel like it is a real response only it's not a dummy response or okay it's not a mock response are we are we getting sir like everyone move it till now good no what i would say not not in market in marking frameworks in marking frameworks according to the test case requirement according to the test case requirement developer only developer only will prepare the request developer only will prepare the request developer only will prepare the request and also and also developer only will prepare the response in marking frameworks according to the test case requirements developer only okay, developer will prepare the request developer will prepare the request and also and also and developer only will prepare the response and also developer and, and also developer only will prepare the response okay, response okay, response object response object okay note Note number one, note number two. Okay, now here, see now here, see here, here. So, before calling backend, backend marketo, marketo will stop, will, 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 before calling to backend, no, marketo will stop backend calls and, and send okay and send mock response object so this mock response object this mock response object will apply the will 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 apply the business logics will apply the business logics in source code source code wherever wherever real object was performed wherever real object was performed that's it thank you team thank you all